iOS 16.5 is currently on its beta 3 version and it's already actually pretty boring and probably this is it regarding iOS 16. Even though as a surprise to us, iOS 16.5 won't be the last big update to iOS 16. We will also get iOS 16.6 for which we're going to talk about in a few minutes here. But first of all, let's go ahead and talk about iOS 16.5, which basically is ready for release as Apple hasn't actually made any new changes or add any new features with the latest beta 3, which was released just a couple of days ago. So this beta will come with a build number of 20F. 505F. This is the new build number for iOS 16.5 Beta 3, which will come to your device at around 600 megabytes. That, of course, is always different based on which device you're installing it and which software you have currently installed on your device. So let's go ahead and take a look at iOS 16.5 and everything you need to know regarding this update. And we're starting things off with performance. Now taking a look at the performance of iOS 16.5, we can see here quite a big improvement actually with the new beta beta 3 this is beta 2 so you can see the multi-core score is at 6322 while we have an almost like a little bit more than 200 points increase here with beta 3 so it's at 6528 while we can see the single core score is actually pretty much the same 2532 there with beta 2 and then beta 3 2531 so it's almost exactly the same but overall iOS 16.5 has a great performance and it's actually quite stable as it should be because we're on iOS 16.5 and Apple now is just polishing this software and then moving on of course to newer updates which will come really really soon. So now let's move on and talk about another really important thing which is battery life. Now when it comes to iOS 16 in my experience using iOS 16 of course since the first beta was released least last year in June and until now I have seen very little changes in battery life. So you can expect pretty much the same battery life on iOS 16.5 as it was on iOS 16.4 or iOS 16.4.1 and we can see right here the battery so we have here you can see with about like maybe 70 percent eight hours and 28 26 minutes on screen there and here we have with about my like maybe 90 percent nine hours and 23 which is actually okay it's not bad at all maybe a slight slightly better than i was 16.4 and keep in mind that this battery is at 98 percent health here so it's actually quite good here on the iphone 14 pro max so nothing can, to complain when it comes to performance and battery regarding iOS 16.5. So as you can see from the title, I'm pretty sure that Apple is done with iOS 16. iOS 16.5 will bring a few new features, nothing major, and iOS 16.6 probably won't have any new features at all because Apple already has released all the new features that they intended to release with iOS 16. But there are of course a few new features with iOS 16.5 and let's take a quick look at them. You will see right here a new tab for sports on the news app which is new with iOS 16.5 and then you will also get here basically a merge section for following and search. So you can see that little button right there. You can see your follows and of course the search all in the same place. Going into an article, you will notice that the next and previous arrows have actually been removed and also you will get there a redesign for suggest more and suggest less. So if you tap on those buttons, you will see a menu that will pop up with both options. You will also get now the options for your fonts and all that right there on the three dots. So you will have the text size and all that and of course all the other options right here on the three dots menu. Now there was a pretty cool new feature with iOS 16.5, I don't know why Apple removed it, but it was the ability to actually record the screen of your iPhone with Siri. Record the screen of my iPhone. And as you can see, Siri won't do that. It was a feature only on the first beta, now it doesn't work anymore. Hopefully until the final release we'll get that feature back which will probably be the best feature of iOS 16.5. There will be also a new option to always place sounds when you're making transactions on your lock screen, whether the switch here is on mute 
or on ring it will always play a sound of course if you go into the app that you're using into its settings and turn on the option right here so these are some of the new features that you will get on iOS 16.5 but when will you get this update as i said with beta 3 apple didn't include any new features and i'm not actually expecting apple to release many new betas until the final release so what i would expect actually a new beta next week probably it will be may 2nd and then probably the rc version the next week which will be either like monday or tuesday so may 8th or 9th and then probably the middle of may it will be the 15th or the 16th one of the dates that apple usually releases new software updates to the public that's the time that i'm expecting apple to actually release ios 16.5 to the public now as we all thought that this is it regarding iOS 16, Apple will no longer release any new updates for iOS 16, it looks like Apple is also testing iOS 16.6 and that should come on its first beta probably after WWDC 2023 which will start at June 5th where Apple of course will reveal the new iOS 17 and all the new software and hardware that they are planning to release to actually reveal on this conference so that week of course will be wwdc 2023 and then the next week probably apple will release the first beta of ios 16.6 now apple releasing this new software leads me to believe that actually apple is not supporting all the devices with ios 17. we have like mixed reports regarding the iphone 8 and the iphone 8 plus and the iphone 10 which some say that they won't be supported some say that they will be supported we don't know that exactly but if apple releases ios 16.6 which is basically confirmed now they're testing it internally and will be actually released on a beta pretty soon i'm pretty sure that apple will drop support for some devices so i would expect apple actually to release the first beta of ios 16.6 somewhere on the third maybe second or third week of june and i don't actually think that apple will include many new features if not any at all with ios 16.6 probably will be just like a maintenance update with fixes and of course security patches and all that stuff so that's pretty much it for this video guys we're basically done here with ios 16 no many new features will be released in the future of course if any with ios 16.6 and the final release of ios 16.5 but of course we have ios 17 coming on its first beta in 38 days from now which should be actually very very exciting so that's it thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed it please make sure to hit that likes button and subscribe for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one